It's safe to say that virtually nobody visits an airport just to see some art. But in some ways, that's the point. This unintentional, unwitting glimpse of art and culture is part of the lore of airport arts programs around the world. The San Diego airport's environment means people are hyper-focused on the tasks in front of them, like getting through security or catching a flight. Daniel Dennert is curator of the arts program. It's all of those kind of inputs going into a person's mind, so finding ways that create this moment where people are like, oh, wait, and they kind of come out of this maybe subconscious rhythm, and they really say, oh, that is different. Katie Norman, airport arts program manager, says the art has tangible purposes beyond the aesthetics. Airports across the country have actually uh, started creating these art programs that include public art, largely because they provide a sense of place. There are certain elements to our collection that create calming, because this can be a, a very tough experience for some people traveling. Art in the San Diego airport costs just over two cents for each passenger who boards a plane. In terms of economic benefits, when passengers linger in terminals, they spend more on airport concessions. The program also creates jobs and pays artists. San Diego's airport art program includes temporary art exhibits, plus performing arts, and over 50 works more integrated into the architecture. We do have a robust collection here. Uh, I would say that there are about 15 other airports across the country that um, also have airport programs of a similar caliber. The temporary exhibit on view now is called A Necessary Departure, spotlighting what artists went through during the pandemic. Some of the works are pre-security, but others are post-security, so visitors need a plane ticket to see them. In one example, by Terry Hughes Ulrich, hundreds of lids and caps from single-use plastics are mounted on the wall and suspended from the ceiling like tiny works of art. It draws attention to the increased use of disposable products during the pandemic and the increased urgency for change. The idea was you were looking at all these single-use plastics as if we were 10 years down the road. And the only way you would be able to see plastic, because you couldn't see it in the store anymore, is by actually going to museums. There's also a gravity-defying sculpture made of old folding chairs by Jamie Franks, puzzle-like wooden portraits by Christopher Lloyd Tucker, and cosmic sculptures by Rebecca Webb. Border artist Alvaro Alvarez's Imperfect Boundaries is a series of seven framed pieces tucked away in the airport's Be Relax Lounge. Shapes are formed from a crowded tangle of painted black ink lines and symbols. The edges created by the many lines represent human and community borders. Borders and boundaries are a big theme for Alvarez. He says it means more that his work is experienced by viewers outside of traditional art boundaries. You know, when I describe imperfect boundaries, I use our border as a metaphor between Tijuana and San Diego. But to have an airport setting as a gallery um, that is a transient space, that filter is a passageway for people everywhere. An airport is essentially, you know, every literal gate to a plane is a threshold to cross. A necessary departure will be on view throughout Terminal 2 until the end of the year. So harried holiday travelers still have time to take it in. An unexpected piece of art may grab their attention as they dash to their gates. Julia Dixon-Evans, KPBS News.